Good evening. This is Akashvani. I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines India and the US sign Artemis Accord to take space cooperation to new heights ISRO NASA to launch joint space mission next year Home Minister Amit Shah to convene all party meeting tomorrow to discuss situation in Manipur 17 opposition parties announced to contest upcoming general elections unitedly IMD says conditions favorable for further advancement of southwest monsoon in the next 2 to 4 days and india's medals tally rises to 76 with 26 gold in berlin special olympics world games <music> union minister of science and technology jitendra singh today said india and the usa are to break new ground in space briefing the media about several significant decisions taken during prime minister narendra modi's usa visit he said the agreement signed between india and the us on cooperation in space research will take the bilateral relations to a new high the minister said the signing of the artemis accords and joint indo us mission to the international space station next year will provide a new momentum to the space sector today india is an equal partner in our space activities at a time when nasa the most premier agency in space across the world it was anybody's dream to either be a part of nasa activity or at least have a visit there and learn what is happening today we are in a position to provide our inputs to nasa our pictures from chandrayaan for further follow up by nasa and america also realizes the utility of we partnering them in the joint space missions Dr Jitendra Singh said India US will develop a framework for joint mission to the International Space Station next year. Dr Jitendra Singh said ISRO is likely to team up with NASA as it plans to return to the moon with a manned mission by 2025. The Artemis Accords were signed on October the 13th, 2020 by eight founder nations: Australia, Canada, Italy, Japan, Luxembourg, UAE, UK and the United States. The Artemis Accord is a non-binding agreement with no financial commitments. It aims at enhancing the governance of the civil exploration and use of outer space with the intention of advancing the Artemis program. Home Minister Amit Shah has convened an all-party meeting in New Delhi tomorrow to discuss the situation in Manipur. The northeastern state is witnessing sporadic violent incidents for over one and a half months. Mr Shah had visited Manipur last month and met a cross section of people to bring back peace in the state during his stay in Manipur the home minister had said that any kind of violation of the agreement of suspension of operation will be strictly dealt with and will be treated as a breach of the agreement The first meeting of the opposition parties to forge a common front against the ruling BJP for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections was held in Patna today. Leaders from as many as 17 parties including Congress, TMC, RJD, JDU, NCP, SP and left parties, CPI, CPIM participated this me- in this meeting congress president palik arjun kharge said opposition parties have decided to contest lok sabha elections unitedly mr kharge said common agenda is being prepared and next meeting will be held in shimla in which seat sharing issue will be discussed senior jdu leader and bihar chief minister nitish kumar said a strategy has been chalked out to defeat the bjp besides several leaders including him and soren MK Stalin, Arvind Kejriwal, former UP Chief Minister Akhilesh Singh Yadav, Farooq Abdullah, Sharad Pawar, Mehbooba Mufti and Uddhav Thakre also participated in the meeting. Union Minister Smriti Irani today attacked the opposition party's meeting in Patna, terming it as an alliance of selfishness. Addressing a press conference at party headquarters in New Delhi, Smriti Irani said the political parties which never saw eye to eye came together. She added that the selfish alliance wants to deprive economic development of India. Ms. Irani said whenever these political parties came together, they brought corruption and nepotism in the country. Union Minister of Road Transport and Highways 
Mr. Nitin Gadkari today said, nationalism, good governance and welfare of the poor and downtrodden form the basis of every policy decision that is taken by the BJP government at the center. Addressing a public meeting in Mumbai on nine years of BJP government at the center, Mr. Gadkari said the government recognizes the importance of economic growth and hence is working to spur investment across all sectors of the economy. He added that India also aims to become the number one automobile manufacturing country in the world in the next five years, while also focusing on improving the power, transport and communication sectors. The G20 Labour Summit at Patna concluded today with the adoption of two crucial joint statements related to universalization of social security and portability of social security funds and empowerment of women workers in the future of work. A report. The report submitted by the five major task forces was the main takeaways of the Labour 20 Patna Summit. The G20 countries also reached consensus on several pending issues like universalization of social security, safeguards of gig and platform workers, the role of technology in employment scenario was also discussed extensively. Most of the experts and trade union leaders spoke about the impact of COVID-19 during their presentations. More than 150 delegates participated in Patna Summit. Dharmendra Kumar Rai, Akaswani News, Patna. As part of the G20 India Presidency, the 14th Y20 consultations began in Bengaluru today. Addressing the gathering during the inaugural today, Karnataka Medical Education and Skill Development Minister Dr. Sharan Prakash Patil underlined the need to address the aspirations of the younger generation. He said they must get access to equal opportunities and per to pursue their aspirations. He also laid emphasis on sensitizing the young generation about evils of substance abuse and how spiritual well-being can help counter mental issues. The Union Ministry of Education has allotted 22 seats for the students of Ladakh who have qualified the JEE Main Examination 2023 degree level courses in the technical institutions approved by the All India Council for Technical Education and Universities for States and Union Territory for the academic session 2023-24. These seats have been allotted to the Union Territory under the ongoing scheme of reservation of seats for the Northeastern States and Union Territory NEUT in these fields for certain categories. In a move aimed at promoting greater trade facilitation and ease of doing business, India and the United Arab Emirates UAE have signed a mutual recognition arrangement for authorized economic operators. The agreement was formally inked today on the sidelines of the sessions of the World Customs Organization's Customs Cooperation Council meeting held in Brussels. The mutual recognition arrangement establishes a framework that enables the recognition of authorized economic operators, AEOs, from both countries. By mutually recognizing the AEO status, India and the UAE seek to streamline and expedite customs procedures, reducing administrative burden and costs for authorized businesses. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. The government has said that the sowing area of pulses and coarse cereals have increased this year as compared to last year under Kharif crops. Union Agriculture Ministry today released the data on the progress of area coverage under Kharif crops. The sowing area of pulses has increased from 6,30,000 hectares to 6,54,000 hectares. The ministry said the sowing area of coarse cereals has also increased from around 13 lakh hectares to around 19 lakh hectares. On the other hand, the sowing area of rice has decreased from 16 lakh hectares to around 11 lakh hectares. In Assam, there is no respite from the flood fury in the state as nearly 5 lakh people are affected. Nearly 63,000 children are said to be affected due to floods. Two persons lost their lives in the last 24 hours. Our correspondent reports that over 14,000 people are taking shelter at 83 relief camps in several districts. A report. 
Several major rivers are flowing above the danger level in Lower Assam, including the Brahmaputra at Dhubri and Nematighat. NDRF, SDRF and SSB have been pressed into rescue works at various places. Flood water caused massive damages to infrastructure, including houses, roads and embankments. Huge agricultural lands are underwater, causing damage to crops. District administrations are distributing relief materials. Several ministers have visited the flood-affected areas to to take stock of the situation. Manas Patim Sarma, Akashwani News, Guwahati. The India Meteorological Department, IMD, has said conditions are favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon over some more parts of Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand during the next two days. It said the conditions are also becoming favorable for further advance of monsoon over some more parts of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Telangana during the next three to four days. IMD said isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over east, central and parts of northwest India during the next five days. It said the maximum temperatures will fall by two to three degrees Celsius over east India during the next three days. Southwest monsoon has further advanced over the some parts of Karnataka, Telangana, some parts of Vidar, and further mainly it has entered also the south Chhattisgarh, Uri side, and also more parts of Jharkhand, some parts of Bihar, and more parts of East Uttar Pradesh. The uh, progress line runs through Ratnagiri, Bijapur, Nijamabad, Dur, Dantanganj, Babsar, Siddharth Nagar of Uttar Pradesh. Because there is a system over the Odisha coast, we have given the orange color warning for heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places over Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Kidar, Telangana, and also Madhya Pradesh. There is no heat wave condition over any parts of India. In Germany, storms and heavy rain across a large swathe of the country flooded roads and forced the closure of some major railway routes today. Germany's National Weather Service earlier this week warned of severe storms with significant amounts of rainfall which hit yesterday. The fire service said it rescued several people from cars that got stuck on flooded streets in the western city of Duisburg. Shops were flooded and streets inundated in the northern city of Braunschweig and there were similar reports from Kassel. In Hattersheim, near Frankfurt, trees fell on houses and cars. Germany's national railway operator, Deutsche Bahn, said the main line between Hamburg and Berlin was closed because of storm damage as was a major north-south route between Kassel and Göttingen. At the Special Olympics World Games 2023 in Berlin, Germany, India added 21 medals to their overnight tally to take it to 76, including 26 gold, 30 silver and 20 bronze by the end of action on Thursday. In judo, Suhalia Parveen won silver to notch India's first medal in the event at the Games. Ranveer Saini, Rahul Agarwal and Ankush Saha, who claimed a gold medal in the Level 1 golf event, showed patience to win gold medals at the Special Olympics World Games. 2023 as medal rush continued for India at the event. Ranveer and Rahul won the gold by a record-breaking margin of 18 shots. In powerlifting, the medals came unabated. The sport has accounted for 20 medals already. V. Harish and C. Rode added four gold medals to that tally. The former won gold medals in the squat, bench press and combined events, while the latter won gold in squat. Not too far behind is roller skating with 17 medals. Angelina Mary Posen Unlucky to miss out on a medal in the 500 meters, one silver in the 100 meter to get on the podium. Union Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur today flagged off Bharat in Paris campaign with a short marathon at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi. The campaign has been launched by Indian Olympic Association, IOA, to create awareness and promote sports across India ahead of the Paris Olympic Games. The 2024 Olympics will take place from the 26th of July to the 11th of August in France at Paris. Speaking at the event, Mr. Thakur said in the past few years, India has scaled new heights in sports. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. India and the U.S. sign Artemis Accord to take space cooperation to new heights. ISRO NASA to launch joint space mission next year. Home Minister Amit Shah to convene all-party meeting tomorrow to discuss situation in Manipur. 17 opposition parties announced to contest upcoming general elections unitedly. IMD says... Conditions favorable for further advancement of southwest monsoon in the next two to four days. 
and India's medals tally rises to 76 with 26 gold in Berlin Special Olympics World Games. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and News on AIR app. That's all in the news at 9. Good night.